The Safe Tots Chunky Wooden Screw Fit Stair Gate fits from 63.5 centimeters to 105.5 centimeters. It comes in five colors, a gray, a white, a black, a blue and a natural wood finish. Um, when you open the box and uh, the parts box, you'll find the following items. You have two panels of the gate, you'll have four connecting nuts and bolts, you'll have the hinge side fittings, and you'll have the opening side fittings, which will include two restrictors, one-way restrictors if you wish to use them. You'll also receive a set of templates and a set of screw fittings to enable you to fit the fittings to the wall and we provide screw fittings for um, both plasterboard and wood fittings. Um, there's also a small spanner and a set of instructions. We also recommend that you have the following tools available to you, a spirit level, a screwdriver, a tape measure and a pair of scissors and an or a knife just to open up the gate at the start. Stage one of the assembly instructions is joining the two wooden panels together. Um, first of all, we have to measure the space we're going to fit the gate into. We're using a gate frame here, but you'll be measuring your doorway. Um, so, for example, this one is 75 centimetres wide. And if we look at the chart on the instructions, to fit between 70.5 and 77.5, you'll be matching up holes A and 2 and holes F and 7. If you look at the two panels, position the panels as so, with the first panel in front with the curve going into the gate, the second panel behind with the curve going into the gate. And what we do is we just count the holes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then on the back, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now, as I said before, our one is A plus two, which is two and A at the back and they will correspond with F and seven. Using the four connecting nuts and bolts, we just push them through the two panels in each position and secure the nuts and bolts. First of all by hand and then using the screwdriver. Once we've joined the two panels together, um, we then have to uh, make the decision of which side is going to be opening on the gate and which side is going to be the hinge side of the gate. And you also need to decide if you want to use the one-way restrictors to stop the gate going past the closed position in one way. Um, the way we do these is we take the small plastic pieces here and we can restrict the gate opening either left or right. So for the purposes of this demonstration, we just slot the small plastic pieces through the back on one side. If you can envisage, the gate will close there, but will not be able to go past this point. Um, we're fitting the gate to wooden frame, so we're gonna use the wood screws. Wood screws could be used against, for example, banister posts or wooden door frames. However, if you're drilling into masonry, use the raw plugs and the masonry screws that go with the raw plugs. The gate comes with two templates, a hinge side template. These are all the hinge side fittings and also the opening side template. And you'll see these all match up the pieces that come with the gate. So first of all, it's really wise to use a spirit level to make sure you're completely straight when putting the template in position. And then what you'll be doing is marking through these holes here and putting these holes into the wall. We've already marked up our frame and you'll see that the frame matches the holes that you'll be screwing through. And as I say, this is the hinge side and that's the opening side. The hardware for the gate comes pre-assembled so it's easy to keep it all together. There's four different ones, the two hinge side ones and the two opening side ones. Uh, what you need to do is just Separate all the pieces to start with. And then what you'll be looking to do is first of all, add the nut quite a way down the uh, metal spindle. Okay, next stage of the process is to stick the barrel nut into the gate. To help you line it up, the long side should be going horizontally. If you put in the spindle in, letting it catch, 
and then just winding it in to start with and you repeat this process on all four corners. Once we have the hardware in position, what we're trying to achieve here is to have roughly equal distance between the wall and the nuts on all four spindles. Now, don't worry too much as we'll be doing fine adjustments later. If you literally take the gate and pop the two into this side and it will drop into position. And we wanna make sure we're near enough correct on this side, which we are. These two plastic pieces are very important. At this stage, you can just lift the gate out of its bracket. However, as soon as you put these caps into position, one at the top and one at the bottom, they'll lock the gate in position and the gate will not now be able to come out of the bracket. These can be removed when you want to by just slotting a knife in there, flicking it open, and then that'll enable you to be able to lift the gate off. The last stage of the process <coughs> is we do the final adjustment. So we just make sure everything is tight, first of all on the hinge side, and tighten it firmly with the spanner. You'll feel it just fine. And then just leave it in that position there, both top and bottom. And then we'll do the final fine adjustments on this side, making sure that these, both at the top and bottom, are tightened up, and then tightened up with the spanner. And then they'll drop into position over the bracket and click into position at the top. <coughs> 